But I can tell you that as an administration, uh, we believe in the freedom of speech and expression. Uh, on Spotify, and he said that tech companies have an important role to play in stopping misinformation because the, uh, they are the predominant places where misinformation spreads. Um, Spotify is putting out uh, advisory warnings on episodes that have to do with COVID-19. Does the White House and the administration think this is a satisfactory step, or do you, uh, do you think that companies like Spotify should go further than just you know, putting a label on there to say, hey, go do your own, you know, to check this out, you know, there's more research you can look at, you know, scientific research? COVID. Sure. Well, last July, I, I, you probably know, but the Surgeon General also took the unprecedented step to issue an advisor on the risk of misinformation in public health, which is a very significant step. And amid that, he talked about the role social media platforms have. So our hope is that all major tech platforms and all major news sources, for that matter, be responsible and be vigilant to ensure the American people have access to accurate information on something as significant as COVID-19. That certainly includes Spotify. Spotify Spotify, Spotify. So this disclaimer, it's a positive step, but we want every platform to continue doing more to call out and mis and disinformation while also uplifting accurate information. I mean, look at the facts, right? In this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. Have you noticed that as everything around you seems to decline, one thing still grows? It is the power of your rulers. None of their plans and directives have solved your problems or made your life better. And the only you know, result is going to be their increased a social control credit scores. Guarantee it's coming to. Your I mean, they want to make America like you know China. Why? So, anyway, you know, if America's you too lazy to stand power. up, I guess we deserve what we get. So, um, I hate to be negative, you know, sometimes, but. Uh, I mean, you got to look at the truth, you know. You got to see what's coming. And if you're watching Netflix or eating your cheese puffs or, you know, whatever, I mean, you're part of the problem. So, anyway, take care of people. If you're up in the northeast, hope you're staying warm. I know uh, my hometown up in Ohio is really cold. And, uh, you know, Lake Erie's probably frozen over by now. So, anyway, guys, take care. Have a good week and uh, stay warm if you're in a cold area.